I really want to have kids so that I can tell them everything I know about privilege and oppression. <laughs> That's why I like it when kids who are trick-or-treating come up to my door. Because this little white boy dressed in like a Native American, like, like stereotypical like plains outfit came up to my door on Halloween. He was like, trick-or-treat. And then I was like, hello, you little white male patriarch. <laughs> Did somebody's mom not tell you about genocide and colonialism and cultural imperialism? Oh, why don't you just come to my house, knock on my door, and take all the candy I've got? <laughs> Entitled asshole. No candy. <laughs> Happy Halloween. do we have here? That's awesome. I love freshmen, especially the freshman boys. I love the, uh, the wisdom they bring to campus. Um, today I was behind a couple of freshmen boys. This is my fifth year, whatever. Um, I'm just bitter. Don't, don't worry about it. So yeah, I was behind these two freshman boys and I was just listening to them and they were like, bro, that girl at the party last night, she wanted my nuts. <laughs> he didn't say it like that at all. He? <laughs> he was like, she wanted my nuts. And then the guy was like, yeah, bro, she was all over your nuts. <laughs> and then I was like, really? <laughs> she wanted your nuts? Did you ask her if she wanted your nuts? <laughs> I don't think anybody has ever wanted anybody's nuts. <laughs> intimately and sexually charged before. I mean, like, I've wanted people, like, really bad and, like, I mean, it's not like I'm completely, you know, dried up, you know? <laughs> I've written poetry about sensual things, but I've never wanted anyone's nuts. <laughs> that might be because I'm gay. <laughs> uh, are there